The pathologist weighs, measures, and describes the appearance of the prostate. A probe is placed through the urethra to make it easier to orient the prostate. The surface is then painted. The dorsal surface is painted black, the left lobe blue, and the right lobe green. The probe is removed and the prostate is dried thoroughly. A small slice is cut from the apex and the apex is divided through the urethra along the probe. The pathologist checks that the urethral mucosa is cut in half and included in the entire slice. Both halves of the apex are cut in sagittal slices, from the central to the lateral part. Any calcium stones in the slices are removed. Each slice is placed in its own labeled container. The main part of the prostate is cross-sectioned from the apex to the base. The cross-sections can be correlated with preoperative MRIs. The cross-sections are placed in large containers. Just like the apex, the base is cut in half through the urethra. Both halves are cut in sagittal slices, from the central to the lateral part. The seminal vesicles and vas deferens are cross-sectioned, and all the slices are placed in one to two containers. These are the containers that will be embedded in paraffin, 27 regular, and 5 large containers. After tissue processing, a biomedical engineer embeds the containers in paraffin. The slices must be placed level in the paraffin to facilitate optimal sectioning. A mold is filled with hot liquid paraffin. The slice is placed level in the paraffin. The container is placed over the mold and more paraffin is added. For the large slices, a custom mold must be made using two angle bars. The containers are left to cool and are kept in a freezer until sectioning. The regular slices are cut using an electric rotary microtome, while the large slices have to be cut using a sled microtome. The biomedical engineer cuts off the upper layers of paraffin to get down to the slice. She then cuts a 1 to 2 micrometer thick section from the slice. The section is carefully placed in distilled water. The section is then transferred to a slide and placed on a hot plate. The slides are placed in a 60 to 80 degrees Celsius heating cabinet for at least 30 minutes to keep the sections from falling off the slides. The sections are dehydrated and H&E stained in a staining machine. They are then rehydrated and mounted with cover glasses. The sections are now prepared and the pathologist can establish the microdiagnosis.